Halleluja. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. The choir helped to lead that. Unto the Lord be the glory, great things he has done. Shiloh 2021. And more than a conqueror, that is established tonight. Unto the Lord be the glory quick now. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great thing he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great thing. to God. For all that has happened this year in your life and in our midst, in our various ministries, for all the graces we have seen in our businesses, in our career, in our health, lift up your two hands one more time. You must be grateful for the first before you are enabled access to the next. Lord, I want to thank you. What has happened between last Shiloh and now in your life? Give him thanks. Give him glory. Give him praise. There is no one like him. Magnify him. Glorify him. Do that intentionally. Do that deliberately. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. For all kingdom citizens, please note that thanksgiving is your guaranteed access forward. 
It takes thanksgiving to move from one level of grace to another. With a loud voice, he glorified God, then he moved him forward. With a loud voice, no assumption. Has God done anything in your life between last Shiloh and now? <laughs> Amen. Your very existence now is a proof that God has been working on you. We slept each day, each night, and awoke because he sustained us. So let everything that has breath praise the Lord. will never be blocked against you anymore. Yeah. The path of the redeemed is ordained to be as a shining light that shines more and more and more. But why are so many stagnated? They are not sensitive to the covenant of thanksgiving that's ordained to move people forward in the kingdom. That's kingdom constitution. It does not require your input and my opinion. That's God's way of looking at things. He gives you the good. Then the very good. And then the perfect. And the movement from those one face to another is thanksgiving. The womb means your way forward again. As a church for the first time in our life, we flagged up the building of a thousand churches at a time. And he did it. At a time. Awesome God. There is nothing he says that he does not back up. Turn around means turn around. And so more than a conqueror will mean more than a conqueror in your life. <laughs> Double the number of says in the church this year. And he did it. Because he said it. Now, he's saying this year, you are here to be given a new name. More than a conqueror, it will make it happen in your life. There are some of our states where we have over 130% increase in sales this year. Amen. In Lagos, we have 21,000 plus new home sales planted this year. We have never seen it. In your best faith, we cannot deny himself. You must return with your new name. For I will put your fear and your dread upon all the nations. Where you will tread means the sole of your feet. That means they can't engage you in battle. No more struggles. The dominion of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. From now, your struggles will be over. The same way we don't sweat here to see results. Sweating and struggling ends in your life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for the word given us earlier. Thank you for light from heaven. And thank you for what you have reserved for this moment. Lord, visit us again and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. Now, give the Lord a more than conqueror's clap offer. Amen.
Please get seated. Tonight I'm starting on a series that God has led me to take in the course of the Shiloh. It's titled Operating in the Realm of More Than a Conqueror. Operating in the Realm of More Than a Conqueror. Living an ever winning life, an ever triumphant life, a life of no defeat, a life of no setback, operating in the realm of more than a conqueror, operating in the realm of more than a conqueror. Now, wait. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, it will corrupt the flat trees. Daniel 11, 32. For those who do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do what? Exploits. Those who despise the knowledge of the truth will end up as mockeries. But those who embrace access to the truth they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Those who scorn the truth will end up as mockeries. But those who celebrate the truth will end up as celebrities. Write on prosperously and in majesty because of truth and righteousness and meekness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Psalm 45 and verse 1 to 3. Ride on prosperously. We have a majestic ride walking in the truth. Because of truth and righteousness and meekness and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. You are on a ride, not on a trek. Revelation of the truth gets you on a ride. Walking in the light of the truth gets you on a flight. Who are these that fly as a clown? They are those folks who are addicted to walking in the light. Arise, shine, for your light is come. And verse 8 says, who are these that fly as a clown? So it is light that empowers believers for a flight. Light is what empowers a believer for a flight. You drive from here to Kaduna, you are sweating from head to toe. <laughs> but you are on a flight. You are taking tea, you are relaxing, you are going. And oh, we are there already. You are on a flight. There is no gallop in there. You are living here on a flight. Amen. God will take you to the level of a flight. Amen. Your struggles will be terminated permanently. Amen. Somebody believe, let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Operating in the realm of more than a conqueror. It's a realm of reality. Many, both in the past and in the present, are operating in that realm. God will enlist you in that army. Yeah. And I believe all through this Shiloh, what it takes to assess and operate in that realm will be released to every one of us. Yeah. Next to salvation, the greatest asset of a believer is revelation. Salvation rescues us from perishing. Revelation also rescues us from perishing. God so loved the world that whosoever believes him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My people, 
perish for lack of knowledge. It's the same. In Proverbs 21 verse 16, the word says, the man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. A believer that is void of spiritual understanding is as good as an unbeliever. The same things they struggle with, he struggles with. But here, God will terminate every form of spiritual ignorance yeah. and get us on course in this new realm. Operating in the realm of more than conquerors. What shall I say more? For time will fail me. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 32 to 34. He just gave us a catalog of what it is. To tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David and Samuel and of the prophets. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, Quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the soul. Out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, and torn to flight the armies of the aliens. They can't engage him, they can't stand for him. Those are all descriptions of what it means to be more than a conqueror. And the word says, Faith is the trigger. For operating in that realm. It's a redemptive status. But can only be manifested by faith. It's there for us. Just like healing is there for us. We have to take it by faith. Prosperity is not our ambition. It's our heritage. He became poor that we, through his poverty, might be made rich. So it's not our ambition. It's our birthright. They sang a new song. Christ has obtained for us power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessings. So, it's our birthright, it's not our ambition. We are not being ambitious. We are just conscious of our birthright in Christ. Power is our birthright. Amen. As many as received him to them, gave you power. So it's not that, oh my God, I'm ambitious. These are all our birthrights, but they can only be made manifest through faith. Through faith. God so loved the world, but you can't be saved without faith. We are saved by grace through faith. We are saved by grace through faith. What is faith? Putting God's word to work, believing. Putting God's word to work, believing. I say, you don't need to know Greek or Hebrew on that. Putting God's word to work, believing. Putting God to work to work, believing. That's faith. Putting God to work to work, believing. That's faith. So we cannot operate in the realm of more than a conqueror without faith. Please know that faith is a present tense force. Now faith is. Not faith shall be or faith was. 
now faith is. I'd like you to get set with your now faith on every matter that the Holy Ghost will be touching on in this prophetic event. Now faith is. Now. Paul had an experience on the sea when the sea went contrary and then um, he said, for well, there appear be by, before me tonight, an angel of the Lord saying, Paul, don't be afraid. There shall be no loss. He said, I believe God. Not I believed God. I believe God that it shall be is it even as you told me. I believe God. I believe God. It's a present tense force. So get ready. Don't write down what you believe tomorrow. Receive it. Believe it. And you'll be empowered to manifest it. Receive it, believe it, and you'll be empowered to manifest it. Acts chapter 27 and verse 23 to 25. I believe God. For there stood by me this night the angel of the Lord, whose I am and whom I serve. Say, if you are not poor, thou must be brought before Caesar. And lo, God has given thee all them that save with thee. He said, wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it shall be even as it was told me. I believe God, I believe God, I believe God, that it shall be even as it was told me. I believe God. It's what to believe in the now that to manifest tomorrow. You believe it now, it becomes the reality tomorrow. Believe it now, and God confirms it. In the name of Jesus, you are living here with that new status established in your life. Yeah. Therefore, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Remember, with the heart, man believes. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. You are breaking forth into a completely new realm in the name of Jesus. Behind the more than conqueror's lifestyle of Paul was his consciousness of his redemptive status, his new redemptive status. He wrote to the Ephesian church, God has raised up, raised us up together with him and made us to sit together with him in heavenly places. Far above. He was overconscious of that reality. He was overconscious. How do I know? All of his steps are evident of what was in him. He wasn't going there. He has raised us up already. Yes. And made us to be together with him in heavenly places. Located far above. Far above. May the light of his word come true to you tonight. Yes. And may that change your perspective forever. Amen. May that change your approach to issues forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. New birth makes us an overcomer. Whatever is born of God overcomes by faith. But revelation makes us more than a conqueror. Knowing what has been done in you in redemption and operating in the consciousness of it, believing, puts you far above the circumstances of life. Puts you far above the circumstances of life.
Paul the apostle said, I can do all things. What's happening? Where are you coming from? All things. Not most things. All things. Through Christ. Who strengthens me. All things. Philippians 4 and verse 13. He said, don't look at me as someone who is uh, proud. We are the circumcision. I worship God in spirit. We worship. And we have no confidence in the flesh. So he was talking based on the light he had. We worship God in the spirit. We rejoice in Christ Jesus. And we have no confidence in the flesh. Philippians 3.3. 3, no confidence in the flesh. For it's not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. Unusual confidence in his God. I know him whom I believed, and I'm persuaded. The revelation of your God, what is wrought in you, gets you unusually confident. Not self-confidence, but God-confident. You are just God confident. People wonder, what's he talking about? They have not seen what you have seen. That's why they can't talk the way you talk. If they see what you see, they will talk the way you talk. From now, no devil takes you for a ride anymore. No devil takes you for a ride anymore. It takes depth of revelation to develop great faith that empowers you and I to operate in the realm of more than a conqueror. When whatever God says is eternally final as far as we are concerned, and you remain steadfast in it. That's what makes it happen. But tonight, let me mention this quickly. That the reason why faith does not deliver maximally in the life of many people is that faith requires another spiritual virtue to deliver maximally. Paul wrote and said in Galatians chapter 5 verse 6, faith which walk it by law. Now listen to this. It will bless your life forever. Faith will only deliver to the level of our love for God. Faith will only deliver to the level of our love for God. Faith will never deliver beyond the level of our love for God. Faith will never deliver beyond the level of our love for God. Faith will never deliver beyond the level of our love for God. Faith will never deliver beyond the level of your love for God. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It doesn't enter the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For that spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Every genuine lover has access to the deep things of God. And the brighter you see, the stronger your faith. The brighter we see, the stronger our faith. The brighter we see, the stronger our faith. The brighter we see, the stronger our faith. What many call revelation is mere information. It's mere information. Revelation comes along with certain definite biblical proofs. Light comes 
joy and rejoicing accomplishes it, accompanies it. Thy words were found. I saw it. And it became the joy and rejoicing of my heart. You can't have revelation and not know. You can't have revelation and not know. It's an inoculation. It's a strange entrance. The entrance of the world give it light. It comes and you know it. Revelation intoxicates. Thy word was like fire shot up in my bones. And I could not forbear. I could not forbear. Fire, fire shot up in my bones. And the spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet. He gets you on your feet. Now listen. We live with this tonight. My faith will never deliver beyond my love for God. Because my access to the deep things of God demands love. I, my access to the deep things of God is what defines the strength of my faith. And when faith comes strongly alive, it puts in command. The word says, if thou canst believe. All things are possible to him that believeth. It's time to answer the question. The same that God asked Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? May this Shiloh be your Shiloh in all areas. May this Shiloh be your Shiloh in all areas. Though I have faith, so I can remove mountains, but have no charity, I am nothing. There is nothing in it for me. First Corinthians 13 and verse 2. Although I have the gift of prophecy and understand the, all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Lack of love reduces our faith to zero level. It is our love for God that gives meaning and impact to our faith. I am nothing. I am nothing. Do I have all faith? I am nothing. Without charity, without love. Somebody's story is changing. <laughs> you can't love God and not know. Simon, do you love me? Yeah, Lord, I love you. Second time, do you love me? I truly love you. Third time. You know all things, and you know that you know as much as I do that I love you. You can't love God and not know. May everyone's love for God come alive tonight. Yeah. And may that move every one of us into the next level of the impact of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 This is your Shiloh. The Holy Ghost is such an interesting personality. He shows us things to come. I was in my room before the Lord and he began to speak to me. Tell them 
I've not called them to get things from them. I've called them to give things to them. Amen. Amen. Now, you see how much that lines up with that testimony. I've not called them to get things from them. I've called them to give them things. We have an ever giving God. There is nothing we have that we have not received. Of his fullness have we all received. God so loved the world, he gave his best. My God. He came and gave us joy and peace Amen. that money cannot buy. Amen. He hasn't called you to get things from you. If I were hungry, would I have asked you? A thousand rams upon a thousand is your mind. God hasn't called you to Shiloh to get things from you. He hasn't called you to church, the church you attend, to get things from you. I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Far be it that I, the Almighty, God told me in 1987, will depend upon your wretched forces. But your wretched forces depend on me for replenishing life. I had God life. You need a biblical perspective. There is nothing God tells you to do is only to get you across to what blessings he has for you. Nothing else. Come to church and you start going from strength to strength. Stay away from church. You go from weakness to weakness. Until you are completely out. Rejoice always. Otherwise you can't have access to revelation. Every commandment of scriptures is to connect you to his blessings. God hasn't come to get anything from any one of us. He has called us to give us things that we can never assess by our, ourselves. There is no way you can secure joy and gladness on your own. Hear what he said. He's giving us all things. How many things? All. That pertains to life and godliness. Sit down and relax. Somebody was coming to church. His neighbor said, don't go there. Oh, they will collect money from you. He said, okay. I'll go and at least I'll stay outside and see how they collect money from people. The entire family is in this place today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are so many manipulations of the devil. The aim is to rob you of the best in God. God does not need you and me for anything. But we need him for yeah. I want to say it and I know you believe it. God does not need me for anything. But I need him for everything. <laughs> Say it confidently. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> now, he will manifest himself to you in this place. <laughs> Let me hear your loudest amen. <laughs> Let me hear your loudest amen. God does not need you and me for anything, but we need him for everything. Come unto me, all ye that live under heaven, and I will give you rest. No one can give you rest except God. Come and learn of me, and you have rest for your souls. Inside out rest. Not available anywhere else. He came to heal us by his stripes who are healed. He came to give us all things, many of which can never access on our own. God is out for you. Paul said, For I seek you. A father ought to give to the children, and not the children 
He said, I seek you, not yours. I'm out for you, not yours. That's God. That's God's perspective. It's out for our good. There is nothing we can add to him or remove from him. His name is I am that I am. I am that I am. I pray, pray you get to that point in your life where you are humbled at his word. Where his word, you see it as for your benefit, not taking advantage of you. It will make a world of difference in your life. I live purely by his word. I have nothing else. I don't have skeleton in my cover. By the word. By the word. Seek ye first my kingdom. All this have we added to you? Okay, I go ahead. Exciting adventure. Exciting. Exciting adventure. My prayer is that from now, the day we have no access to manipulate your life anymore. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. 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 This is the way to it as we close tonight. Access to victory is impossible until you are born again. Whatever is born of God is born to overcome the challenges of life. And he overcomes by faith. But he must be born of God first. That's where our adventure to more than a conqueror begins. New birth. New birth. Amen. All over the world you are around here tonight. You want to say, Jesus saved my soul. I want to be born again. Forgive my sins. Make me a new creature. Grant me a brand new beginning. I'll be glad to pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> new birth is an experience. It's not an ideology. If anyone be in Christ, it's a new creature. All things are, behold, all things have become new. We are not faking it. Millions and billions of people on the earth are in Christ rejoicing in hope knowing that they are making it to heaven with Christ don't fake it it will show tomorrow you are here tonight wherever you may be around the world Jesus save my soul give me that new birth experience give me the new creation experience Grant me a brand new beginning. I don't want the, to miss the best you got in stock for me. Wherever you may be tonight, stand to your feet. Everyone that wants to say, Jesus, save my soul, stand to your feet. Jesus, forgive my sins, stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you wherever you are. Stand to your feet. I'll be praying for you right now. And all of us around the nations of the world, in our videos, being centers, or in front of your own personal device, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Stand to your feet where you are if you can. And I'll be praying with you. All of us who are standing on this ground, please come forward. Come forward now. Come forward now. In all the centers, go ahead. Towards the altar. Go ahead towards the altar. Rejoice it. Shall give the Lord a big hand of praise. There is joy in heaven over one soul that depends. Keep coming.
It's a new day for you. It's a new beginning for you. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. If you are coming from outside, please come. In all the VA centers right now, approach the front of the altar. Go forward, go forward, go forward. Thank you, Jesus. Keep coming, please. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's a brand new day for you. Keep coming. In Jesus' precious name. Saints, listen to this in one moment. When you are born again, you are raised up together with him and made to sit together with him in heavenly places. You know what that place looks like? There was war in heaven. Satan fought with his angels. Michael also fought. And prevailed not. Neither was there any more place found for him. That's your new place. The last defeat you saw is the last we ever see. <laughs> Satan fought and prevailed not. You never record defeat anymore in your life. <laughs> Neither was there any more place found for him in heaven. God is creating a new environment for you today. Amen. For all of us who are born again, that's your new place. That's where you belong. And because they only laugh there, from now, laughter becomes your new lifestyle. Amen. He that seated in heaven shall laugh. What are they doing? Who do they think they are? That is the more than conqueror's laughter. That's where you belong in redemption. It's not a religious identity. It's a new status. I said the good news tonight is that Satan will never prevail around your life anymore. No place will be found for him in your home. No place will be found for him in your health. No place will be found for him in your business. Satan shall have no more place in your ministry. In the lives of your children, yeah. and prevail not that there was there any more place found for him in heaven. Revelation 12, verse 7 to 11. That there was there any more place found for him in heaven. That there was there any more place found for him in heaven. And prevail not, verse 8. That there was there any more place found in heaven for him. That's your new status. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I said, that's your new status. Yeah. 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 All of us in front, lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this simple prayer after me. Because you have been welcome to his family and he lives in heaven. So you have been welcomed to your heavenly family. Amen. Becoming members of the household of God. And heaven is his throne. That's where he lives. That's where he lives. By redemption, he opens our access to that heaven today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. 
I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I may be justified. Right now, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. By your grace, I will serve you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I believe that I'm now a member of your household. Now, I'm a citizen of heaven. Now, I'm dwelling in a place where Satan can no longer prevail. Now, I'm dwelling in heaven where we only have the conqueror's laughter. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Now, Lord Jesus, let your good hand rest upon these individuals. I cover them with your blood. Preserve them unto eternity. None of you shall miss your steps. You will make it through to heaven at the end of a most colorful life on the earth. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Please complete those little slips and then um, you pass them on to those kingdom friends that are all around you. That applies to all the various centers around the world, please. Take note of that. Hallelujah. Let the praise team please come up. Let's rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord! <laughs> Let all the saved in the house give the Lord a shout of Hosanna! Give the Lord a shout of Hosanna! Say with me, light is sweet. Light is sweet. And it's a beautiful thing for the eyes to behold the sun. The light tonight, both in the first and the second world, is that your new status has come alive. In the name of Jesus. How many can see their new status right now? How many can see their new status right now? Now let's praise him. I will rejoice.